So, I am in Tesoro Escondido Reserve in Western Ecuador and I wanted to show you guys what gear I brought with me for this six day trip in the rainforest. Keep in mind before I dive into this bag that this is what I decided to take with me for a six day trip, a six day photography trip. It would have been very different, like it all depends on the assignment. Um, if, uh, if I'm going to shoot video, photography, is it going to be wildlife photography, photojournalism? Am I going to go to a rainforest, to a big city, to the mountain? It all depends on this. So this is not representative of what I have, of what I take with me every time. This was just what I wanted to take with me for this trip and I wanted to travel light. So here it is. I have this towel here to lay my gear here so that you can see. Actually, this is a, a towel that dries fast. Very important in the rainforest. You know, the kind of towel that doesn't actually dry you when you're wet. That's the stuff. Okay, so let's start here. We have my bag here. So, let's start with, uh, with the cameras. So dirty, why is the rainforest so dirty? I hate it. My Canon R5, this is my main camera. My backup camera is the Canon EOS R. Uh, and I can't show it to you right now because it's filming me. So I'm gonna insert a few images of it. The first lens, and I decided to take only three lenses with me. The first lens is the 24 to 70 2.8 and I can't show it to you because it's filming me right now. I'm going to insert images of it. The second lens I uh, took with me is the Canon 100 macro. Great for reptiles, amphibians, insects. I love this lens. I always have it with me. And the third lens is the Canon 100 to 500. Great for wildlife. It's not the best lens in the world, but it's light and small. And when you need to walk for hours in the rainforest, like I had to do on this trip, uh, it's great to have such a, such a light lens to work with. So that was nice. Okay, so that was the most important. Now, this is my flash that I use either for portraits or for macro photography. This flash is used with, this is not very well organized here. This is a transmitter that goes on top of the camera on the hot shoe and the flash is never used on its own because I always use it with a diffuser. A soft box that allows me to have a nice diffused soft light always off camera I love that we have extra memory cards obviously extra batteries for everything triple A's double A's all kinds of A's always backups this is my cleaning kit here it's always the same I always have this with me I have a cleaning cloth I have an air blower, a brush, and a cleaning and cleaning fluid. And this always comes with me. Memory card reader. This is for CF Express Type B and SD cards, which are the cards that I use with the, the cameras that I have with me. I have two of those always with me in case uh, there's a problem with one of them. This is a, literally a kitchen cloth in case it rains and I just need to dry the gear. There's nothing more efficient than this. I have a headlamp to look for wildlife at night and another lamp. I like to have two of everything just in case. An iPhone external power bank. And here I have extra batteries, of course. And this is SSD external hard drive. I have two of those with me. They're each two terabyte drives. They're light and small. It's amazing. I love them. There you go. And what else do we have here? Of course, here I have filters, ND filters for video and polarizing filter for photography, for long exposure, like things like that. 
Uh, this is a rain poncho or rain cape, whatever you want to call it. This is very important because the rain uh, cover that comes with the camera backpack is good for like a small rain, but if it really rains, like if it's a massive rainstorm, I need this rain poncho and it goes over my head and over my whole body and over my backpack so I know that everything is protected, all my gear is safe. And this is a Leatherman tool. Uh, I rarely use it to be honest but I like to have it with me, you never know, it's, it's always nice to have. Battery charger, AA, AAA, I have two of those as well. And I think that's pretty much it. Of course, I have my beautiful hat, which can be seen as either super cool or cliche and outdated, depending on your taste. And, and that's it. And to conclude, I have this dry bag with silica gel in it. Every night before I go to bed, all my gear goes in here. I have two of those uh, with me and uh, that gets rid of humidity. This is essential to have in the rainforest. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you, find, you found it interesting. And so like I said, this is only for a six day trip to the rainforest. And the backpack is a 25 or 26 liter backpack. I think it's the sweet spot because I have bigger backpacks. The problem with bigger backpacks is that the bigger the bag, the more gear you put in it. And then the heavier it is in the field. And then, uh, and then your back hurts. And, uh, and then it's not nice. So uh, sometimes I take a bigger bag, but I find that the 25 liter, again, it might be 26, I think it's the sweet spot. And it's not too big and bulky either. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it interesting. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.